took the family by storm. Now he's gone. Oh, I've been all over the place. No sign of him anyway. Anybody seen him? No. He can't have gone far. Look! Isn't that him? It's Charlie! The Larkins want him back, especially Mariette. We've been looking all over for you. Charlie says the only way Peter can stay here and be allowed to work is if he marries an English girl. The Darling Buds of May, on Sunday. Coming up next in NICAM Stereo, the ITV movie premiere, Three Men and a Baby. Michael Gambon is Maygrave. We've been told that a burglar broke into your house on Tuesday night. His preferred method of entry is by removing a pane of glass. His plan was to break into your safe. But before he did so, his torch shone upon something he had not expected to find. The body of a woman, which may have been your daughter-in-law. Suspects mount for Maygray, the master detective. Sunday at 8.45. Harry is brilliant at his job. Oh, it's just the little things in life he can't cope yeah. with. <laughs> Jamie, I hope you're not walking mud all over my clean oh, floors. <laughs> You know, that's typical men. They can build a space shuttle, but they can hardly design a packet you can open. Oh, Carol! My uh, last boyfriend. The, the computer, computer programmer. programmer. Five A-levels, and he couldn't handle a tin opener. Girls are more resourceful than boys. I've noticed that in the classroom. Yeah, well, in marriage, they have to be. Why is that? Because we have to look after the men as well as the kids. Did he really have five A-levels? Yeah, one in woodwork. Jamie! Kleenex toilet tissue. One of life's little comforts. Traditional flat roofing felts can rip easily, which causes them to leak. But Rubroid No Rip Roofing is made the stronger stuff, which is why there's less chance of a leak. Rubroid No Rip, guaranteed for 10 years. For information, call free phone 0800 243298. I've learned all I know about love from the women in my life. My daughters, my wife, my mother. But it took a woman I hardly knew. You've met somebody in New York, haven't you? To help me face my past. To bring me back <laughs> to life. Barbara Streisand. Let's just be friends. Nick Nolte. Very good friends. The Prince of Tides. From Gillette comes Sensor, the razor that can sense and adjust to the individual needs of your face. Sensor blades are mounted on responsive springs to continuously sense and individually adjust to your face. Closer, safer, more comfortable. Gillette Sensor, together with the richness of Gillette Gel, for a shave that is unsurpassed. Your last chance to get down to Britain's biggest furniture sale with offers throughout the store. Must end February 26th. Most people think of America as the land of freedom. But to those who have visited here, it's also a place of beauty, wonder, and excitement. From rolling green fields to sandy white beaches, the red-hot Dixieland jazz. Today, there are more reasons than ever to visit America. And there's never been a better time than now. So what are you waiting for? An invitation from the president? America, it's yours to discover. Now from Thames Ford Dealers, a special edition Fiesta. It features a sunroof, a radio cassette, a car alarm, low rate finance at 9.3% APR and all for just £7,499 on the road. Sounds like music to your ears? That's why we called it the Fiesta Fanfare. Well, Murray, the director has decided to start this penguin commercial with one of those arty shots. Oh. I personally prefer it when we're in close-up. Uh, that's better. Yes. We're on quick, do something funny. That's not very funny. Well, it made me laugh. <laughs> oh, I've done it again. <laughs> P -p Pick up a penguin. A new look for next Saturday on ITV. Angela Lansbury is back for new Murder, She Wrote. But not before we join the Baywatch Patrol at 5.30.
I think it's time we turn the water on. It can only be Beadle at 6.20. And at 5 past 7, it's a brand new series of stars in their eyes. Yeah, that's definitely curry. That's an Indian elephant, yeah. At 7.35, it's new comedy with Connolly. He's also a certified psychopath who once killed a man. New Murder, She Wrote, next Saturday. Sunday at 7.15 on ITV. Take your partners, for you've been framed. They have... Quickfit, we believe in going out of our way to keep our customers happy, whatever it takes. Because in our business, we're not number one, you are. Inside the private world of Mel Gibson, we're looking for Britain's video game champ, plus Slim Sexy, the A to Z of body shaping, by the Sunday Mirror tomorrow. With Lycra, life is different. Sophisticated, comfortable, sensual, shapely. Lycra, the fiber that makes the difference. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart what lies ahead. Will we have rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. You never know what your future holds, but at least with Pearl, you should be able to afford it when it happens. The future's yours with Pearl. When your hair is strong on the inside, it's beautiful on the outside. Silvians, beauty through strength. Aquarius, and sometimes I get carried away. Scorpio, one nip for me and it's history. Virgo, and this is my first one. Capricorn, mind if I butt in. Capri's green. I mean, no. You will be all right, won't you, darling? Probably. Oh, Jim. Huh. How are you? Hello, Cliff. Right, O'Neill. Shopping, are you? Yes. We're having chops of this new Bisto gravy. I just popped in for a bottle of wine, you know. Someone's coming for dinner. Right. Bye, then. Bye. I think Mum prefers white wine. <laughs> New fuller flavour Bisto. It puts the R into a meal. Keeping company with Aspel tonight at five past ten, Simply Red's Mick Hucknall. Marmite is made with yeast, one of the richest natural sources of B vitamins. Marmite, her mate, your mate, mates for life. <laughs> 
This Sunday, the Sunday Times brings you your new television and radio listings magazine to help you plan your viewing and listening throughout the week. Also this Sunday, a comprehensive guide to the Cricket World Cup, the teams, the players and the tactics. How's that? From Cooks and Cook and Bakers and Burnham, don't leave the loaves long, don't forget to turn them. Players from Rugby, Plumbers from Bath, Polishers from Machine, keep your television clean, painters from Gainsborough, try not to shake them. Better check the signature or you might have a fake in them. Baby some crawly, tailors some coat bridge. If they haven't got your size, you can let it out and itch. Potters from Potters Bar, carpenters from Wood Green, builders from Hammersmith, anyone whose name is Smith. Farmers from Cows, Oxford and Barnsley, please close the Ramsgate, keep them out of harm's way. Pet shops in Petswood, tilers from Tilehurst, photographers from Ilford, don't forget to smile first. Nationwide. With more branches than anyone else, we're the nation's building society. Mum, it's Melvin. Look, I'm afraid we're going to be late. You're going to be late? He's going to be late. Sister's never late. Your father says your sister's never late. She got more consideration. I've got to work. He's got to work. I'll tell you this. They're working you too hard. The slave drivers, those people. I'll be an hour. I'll come down. I'll bring you a sandwich. Your father will run me. I don't you want run a sandwich. me. Eat there, no sandwich. I'll bring you a jumper. I don't want a sandwich. I don't want a jumper. This is a modern air conditioned building. It's never easy explaining why you're late, but a call shows you care. You never told me it was air conditioned. Why would I tell you? Melvin, some children talk to their parents. Now, what do you want in your sandwich? I got that matured Canadian cheddar that you like. I wish I'd known. I hadn't got a lot in. Still, thanks for the call. Beginning next Saturday on ITV. It's not our war. It's everybody's war now. Passions run high on the other side of paradise. Mama. Mama? Mama, Mama. Mum, mum, mum. Marmite. Marmite. Her mate, your mate, mates for life. At National Power, we don't see refuse as waste, which is why we are planning new power stations that by the end of the decade could turn one and a half million tons of rubbish per year into useful electricity. National power ahead of current thinking. You see, the, the new Astra GSI's traction control system uh, stops your wheels from spinning uh, in tough driving conditions, you know, like ice. It's unique in its class. Sounds very complicated, Mr. Atkins. Yes, well, excuse me, Gloriette. Um, thank you very much. Imagine my foot is a wheel. Now, if I were to step on this slippery banana skin, I would fall over. But if I had traction control, power would automatically be cut to my foot. Uh, did he no, get rob the bear? Atkins, not now. There isn't one thing. I could... ah! oh, JD hasn't got traction control then. Campbell's condensed mushroom soup tastes absolutely delicious. And because it's the only concentrated soup, 
You can put it in a sauce for fish. Campbell's Condensed. Perfect as a soup. Perfect as a cooking ingredient. This is call back in action. It takes all your calls when you're not available. It then calls them back to you when you are. You don't miss a thing. Not an appointment, not an order, not a job. To have your calls chase you, call 0800 21 4000. You need never miss a call again. One night, a designer at Papermate was trying to think of a way to make his pen more comfortable to write with. Then it hit him. Rubber. Introducing the Papermate Flex Grip Pen. Its rubberized barrel makes writing easier, more comfortable, well, painless. The Papermate Flex Grip. It's writing with a touch more comfort. New Murder, She Wrote, starring Angela Lansbury, next Saturday, 5 past 8. New, next Saturday, starring Angela Lansbury, Murder, She Wrote. Jessica Fletcher stalks a killer in the first story of a new series. Jealousy. He kills off her bows. The truth is, he scares me. Murder, mystery, suspense. Angela Lansbury in a new series of Murder, She Wrote, starting next Saturday at 5 past 8. Next night, we join the studios of ITN for the national and world news. Fantasia's final performance is about to end. Disney will take its last orders on February the 28th. So hurry, it won't be in stores long. Now's your last chance to own Walt Disney's Fantasia. There is a food made in plants from the sun's rays, which has grown on Earth for a hundred million years. It's a pure source of food energy. Its taste tells us when something is ripe. It forms part of the natural diet of virtually every creature, from the smallest to the greatest. It's one of the fuels for life itself. In what form do we know this food best? Sugar. In tomorrow's Sunday Mirror, Guilty, now we reveal more secrets of Mike Tyson's amazing private life. Buy the Sunday Mirror tomorrow.
Where were you in 63, she said, when President Kennedy was assassinated? <laughs> she tries to blame me for everything. I had an alibi, I said. My chum Rory came round and asked if I wanted to go barn dancing. <laughs> Only if they've got legs like whippets, I said. <sighs> Heady days. I just had my first experience with Swinton Insurance. You know, they now deal with more motor insurance companies than anyone else. In those days, everybody was talking about free love and hallucinations. I quite like the Blackpool hallucinations myself, but I wouldn't keep going on about them. Collect the vouchers at participating Shell stations and you can now choose from an exciting range of travel games. They'll make your journey fly by. If you thought that you've been framed had come to an end this series, then you'd be wrong. Last week, Peter won the hearts of the Larkins. Now... Charlie says the only way Peter can stay here and be allowed to work is if he marries an English girl. The darling buds of May, then May Grey. Was there or was there not a body? If there was a body, where is it now? Michael Gambon stars on Sunday. Join me tonight when my guest will be Mick Hucknall from Simply Red, that gentle broadcaster Danny Baker, and the pride of Britain's finest acting dynasty, Vanessa Redgrave. This is London Weekend Television, part of the ITV network. The news from ITN. Kidnapper tells how he wept as he let Stephanie go. Three Israeli soldiers hacked to death, peace talks threatened. The board says water industry may have been two billions too cheap. And French players banned as England go for the Grand Slam. Good evening. The kidnapper of estate agent Stephanie Slater has told police there were tears streaming down his face when he told his victim she was being set free. The new revelations came after detectives released more extracts from the letter he sent them. Psychologists say it reveals the mind of a psychopath. Stephanie Slater returned to the bosom of her family a week ago after detectives completed their debriefing. Yet even she is only now discovering what her kidnapper claims happened in the final stages of her ordeal. Ten days ago, the kidnapper wrote a lengthy letter to police, apologising for what he'd done and claiming he was not the killer of Leeds teenager Julie Dart. Detectives who've studied the text carefully are still withholding some of the letter's contents for operational reasons, but tonight they made public further extracts. In one section, the kidnapper says, I promised and gave my word to Stephanie that I'd not killed before and that provided she did not remove her blindfold, she would be released. He claims that when he told her she was about to be freed unharmed, they both cried. Fortunately, he wrote, she had her blindfold on and could not see my tears for her streaming down my face. Stephanie was eventually dropped off in a side street near her home. According to the kidnapper, he took the risk of being caught because Stephanie had told him of the love she had for her family. The man who got away with £175,000 also reveals that from an early stage he was convinced that his telephone calls to courier Kevin Watts were being listened to by police. Tonight, psychologists studied the letter. They pronounced that the man was without a doubt a psychopath. He's trying to cope with the fact that his clever plans have damaged another human being. He thought he could cope with that and he can only partially do so. So he's trying to excuse himself whilst also boasting about his skills. Detectives too are cynical. They remain convinced the kidnapper and the killer of Julie Dart is the same person. Other senior officers doubt the sincerity of the sentiments in the letter. They warn he may well strike again before he's caught. Terry Lloyd, ITN, Birmingham. Government sources said tonight that ministers have now agreed to give compensation to health service patients infected with HIV through blood transfusions. Compensation is already available for haemophiliacs, but the government has so far refused to extend the scheme to other sufferers. Sources indicated tonight that an announcement would be made in the Commons next week. 
Israel's defense minister hinted tonight that the murder of three soldiers by Arabs in the north of the country could affect Middle East peace talks. Three Arabs armed with knives and axes broke into an army camp near Haifa and attacked the men in their sleep. Tonight it's being described as the most serious and most ruthless attack on the Israeli army since the beginning of the Palestinian uprising four years ago. Late last night, Arab guerrillas slipped under the cover of darkness into this lightly defended army camp and using axes, knives and a pitchfork killed three soldiers and wounded another. Two of the dead were Russian Jews who had recently emigrated to Israel. The attack has caused outrage in Israel, not only because it occurred on the Sabbath and was particularly savage, but also because it took place in Israel's heartland and not in the disputed territories of the West Bank. It will further damage prospects for the Middle East peace talks, which have already virtually ground to a halt. The PLO uh, is not opting for peace. As Israel is spe speaking peace with the Arab delegations, the PLO is speaking and acting war, terror and violence. We so have to Arab end the state of occupation. We have to create a situation whereby genuine peace can be achieved in order to eliminate the causes of violence and put an end to this whole cycle. A massive search has been underway all day. But tonight, 24 hours after the incident, the terrorists have still not been caught. Robert Moore, ITN, the Middle East. A report published today by the National Audit Office suggests the government sale of the water industry raised £2 billion less than originally expected. It says the sale did create 10 successful companies, but it may have suffered from being rushed. Water privatisation did pose difficult problems, the report concedes, but it also criticises the way the government carried out the sell-off. Although the report uses diplomatic language, it suggests the government was in too much of a hurry to complete the sale because the Treasury needed the money. The government denies that. We were anxious to get water privatisation through because we were so keen to get the rising levels of investment and environmental enhancement that uh, privatisation has produced. When we realise that the taxpayer has had to pay billions of pounds in order for the government to carry out its dogmatic approach, I think we can all be very angry indeed. The shares have proved a good buy for the investor from an initial flotation price of 240 pence the share prices of the 10 water companies now average £3.70. The report will be examined in greater detail later this month when members of the House of Commons Public Accounts Committee will be asking civil servants whether the water companies really were sold off too cheaply. Two new opinion polls suggest a decline in support for both the Conservative and Labour parties but increased backing for the Liberal Democrats. A Harris poll in tomorrow's Observer puts Labour on 40% and the Conservatives on 39, both down 3%. The Liberal Democrats are on 15% up 2. And an ICM poll for the Sunday Express puts Labour down 3 on 39%, the Conservatives on 40% down 1 and the Liberal Democrats on 16% up 2. The Tories' election cheerleader, Michael Heseltine, set out to rally the troops after a week of predominantly gloomy economic news. With neither party able to establish a decisive lead in the opinion polls, he warned them to keep their nerve in what he said would be the toughest election campaign for decades. Let us fight for Britain's future. Let us spell out the arguments and let us trust the people. The challenge, yes, it is dramatic, but our way, the opportunities for Britain tomorrow are huge and must be achieved. Sensing an advantage after last week, Mr Kinnock pressed home Labour's attack on the government's economic management. He said many parts of the British economy were still crumbling. And in a statement issued today, he went on, This government has not learned from the damage it has inflicted on Britain, and it will not take action to stop the rot. And the Liberal Democrats, who've seen a slow but steady increase in their support, added their voice to the criticism, saying the Tories must take the blame for the recession. As every day goes by, it is becoming more and more clear that the Conservatives have mismanaged, miscalculated, misjudged our economy. And the reason the campaign is being so closely fought is that both the parties are genuinely neck and neck. The margin of error of the opinion polls, which is 3%, is bigger than the lead that either of the main parties can claim at the moment. Mark Webster, ITN, Westminster.
In America, the man who was the early front runner for the Democratic presidential nomination is now desperately trying to salvage his campaign. Bill Clinton is giving away 20,000 videos to households in New Hampshire before Tuesday's primary. President Bush, who's also sliding in the polls, has come under fierce attack from his right-wing Republican rival, Pat Buchanan. Bill Clinton is fighting for his political life, his popularity waning, his campaign frenzied. I'll never forget who gave me a second chance, and I'll be there for you till the last dog dies. Hi, Bill Clinton. Weakened by doubts about his patriotism and fidelity, he gave away 20,000 videos today to highlight his record and bought an hour of primetime television to sway a skeptical electorate. Forging ahead behind birthday flowers, Paul Songus, promising harsh economic medicine and much more. I think on Tuesday we're going to change this body forever. And all the old nonsense, all the old rhetoric, it's going to go by the boards. For many, none of the Democrats impress. They want voters to write Governor Mario Cuomo's name onto the ballot and into the running. We are going absolutely down the wrong road. The same message is winning Republican votes for right-winger Pat Buchanan, who predicted today he'd beat President Bush and take the New Hampshire nomination. Voters here are angry at the president over the economy. He brought Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger with him today to back his case. At the same time, send a message to Pat Buchanan. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> but many do want to show their anger. George Bush has two days to shore up his support and avoid embarrassment. Thank you, Bill Neely, ITN, Manchester, New Hampshire. Now, the news of today's sport, here's Graham Miller. The fifth round of the FA Cup produced no real shocks today, other than one of the quickest bookings in football history. It took Chelsea's Vinnie Jones barely five seconds to hack down Sheffield United's Dane Whitehouse, earning himself a yellow card. Some quality play, though, by the Chelsea youngster Graham Stewart put the Londoners into the quarter-finals. It was his first goal of the season. In the league, Arsenal enjoyed their biggest win under George Graham with a 7-1 thrashing of Sheffield Wednesday. Substitute Kevin Campbell fired them up with a couple as Arsenal scored six in the last 19 minutes. In the second division's top match, Kenny Dalglish beat the still-smiling Kevin Keegan, but not before Newcastle had taken the lead through David Kelly. David Speedy, though, was the hero for leaders Blackburn with a hat-trick. A volley secured the equaliser. But what about this diving header to put Blackburn in front? And a close-range shot brought his third. But the hero turned villain with a gesture to the home fans that could land him in trouble with the FA. The Highland League's Inverness Caledonian held Premier Division St Johnston in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup. They fought back from two goals down to two all. Alexei Mikhailichenko kept Rangers double hopes alive with two late goals to knock out the cup holders Motherwell. Britain's two-man bobsleigh team go into tomorrow's final round at the Winter Olympics with a sniff of a chance of a gold medal. Driver Mark Tout and brakeman Lenny Paul produced a scintillating first run for the lead. Their second attempt, though, was only the eighth best, leaving them with an overall lead of three hundredth of a second. The double world sprint champion Katrin Krabber has been banned for four years after being found guilty of doping by the German Athletics Federation. Krabber, with two other leading German athletes, starts an immediate suspension after illegally tampering with urine samples during testing in South Africa last month. Alan Lamb is doubtful for the Cricket World Cup after pulling a hamstring in England's victory over New Zealand. It marred an easy win in the final one-day international by 71 runs at Christchurch. Ian Botham set up the victory with a typical assault on the opposition. He justified the decision to put him in as opener with a succession of blows, taking him to 79 and the Man of the Match award. And that's all from ITN for the moment, from Graham and myself and the rest of the newsroom. Good evening. Labour doing better. I'll be interviewing Roy Hattersley, the party's deputy leader, this Sunday at 1.10 on ITV.
Morning, well, more rather cold and rather windy weather to come for most of the country. Here's what's happening. These westerly winds quite brisk across the country. That'll bring this little front south, causing problems with snow, particularly for Scotland tonight. Then behind me here, there's another area of low pressure. And as that sweeps towards us later tomorrow, you find some rain turning up in Northern Ireland. But there's that band of sort of cloud and outbreaks of rain with sleet and snow, particularly on the mountains. To the south, though, you'll find a few showers around the coast, but central parts with clearing skies, you're likely to find a touch of frost by the morning. But it's this band we really have to watch through tomorrow. Through the morning, crossing over southern Scotland, getting down towards all the Pennines there, and as they get across the hills, turning to sleet and snow again. Further south, though, not too bad a start to the day, fine and bright, much like today. And you'll find these showers beginning to work their way steadily down, particularly down that eastern side during the afternoon and into the evening. To the north, well, bright spells and showers about sums it up, and particularly where you're exposed to the northerly winds, quite a bit of showers and those showers falling as snow. And then, as we said, late in the day, the first signs of that cloud and rain beginning to work its way up across Ireland. You know, a cold day generally, average temperatures, well, 5 to 7 degrees Celsius, but with a brisk wind across most...